The Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District's mission is to promote conservation of land and aquatic resources in a developed environment through stewardship initiatives, education programs, and technical assistance. The Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District has been in existence since 1949. We are the most urban conservation district in the state of the 88 county soil and water conservation districts. The Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District is administered by a five-member elected board of Cuyahoga County property owners and or residents. The board, which serves voluntarily, assists in setting district policy and helping to implement district initiatives. Our associate board members are some of our key volunteers that assist with internal program initiatives and fundraising. Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District has forged collaborative partnerships with many municipal, county, governmental agencies, local officials, schools and universities, civic and environmental organizations. Because not only does this have environmental value, but it also has a beautiful value. Uh, this is an ugly part of City Hall and we're trying to spiffy it up here. So we're killing two birds with one stone. We're making City Hall a little more beautiful and best of all, we're protecting the water table, we're preventing against soil runoff. Our partner in our daily work is the United States Department of Agriculture, Natural Resource Conservation Service, NRCS, which works with the Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District to provide technical assistance for Cuyahoga County residents. We participate with the Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District and work with them in providing technical assistance to the landowners of this county and land users. Now I'm a technical assistance that my agency provides through me and the, the, the technical support that I have at my disposal is primarily for construction sites. The Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District offices is staffed by eight employees who specialize in different areas of soil and water conservation. The energetic and passionate staff has backgrounds in the sciences, watershed planning, program implementation, marketing, education, and administration. Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District offers a variety of services ranging from stormwater pollution prevention, which includes sediment and erosion control, conservation planning, conservation easements, watershed protection and planning programs, and conservation education. In addition, staff works with community stakeholders and business volunteers. Soil and water are the building blocks of life. Each and every day, we rely on these natural resources for our livelihood. For nearly 60 years, Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District has applied technical skills and experience to advise landowners about drainage and effective methods of stormwater pollution prevention. Each year, we strive to share our expertise through a variety of programs, events, and landowner site visits. The district continues to address pollution prevention concerns to conserve and protect our natural resources, especially our water resources. Our main efforts focus on the promotion and application of best management practices for natural resource protection within Cuyahoga County. Working with input from district stakeholders and staff, the Board of Supervisors developed a strategic plan to guide the district's growth. The strategic initiatives identified by the Board include building district capacity, guiding land conservation and preservation, providing technical assistance to communities, a conservation education program, and watershed education programs. The district has grown to meet the demands of a county that encompasses 59 separate communities and 1.4 million people. More importantly, the district is helping communities understand and meet important federal Clean Water Act goals through its comprehensive stormwater management and watershed protection programs. As of March 10, 2003, construction projects of one or more acre disturbance, including the larger Common Plan of Development or SAIL, need to have a complete stormwater pollution prevention plan. Uh, what we have behind us is a bioretention cell. Uh, this is a fully designed uh, stormwater quality feature uh, that's incorporated. As you can see, we're on a commercial setting here along one of our main boulevards in Cuyahoga County, the most urbanized county in the state. And what we have here is a redevelopment with this bioretention cell incorporated as part of the parking lot design. So it's very important to be using proper erosion and sediment controls during construction to protect this and maintain it um, until we get permanent stabilization of the site. 
Due to the experience and knowledge base of the Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District staff, community officials and staff are increasingly requesting the Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District to assist in the development and implementation of the stormwater pollution prevention programs. Our public involvement public education pipe programs are designed to educate citizens in Cuyahoga County how they can be a part of the solution to our environmental concerns. We provide literature throughout the year, including our newsletter, which is distributed four times a year. Our education staff is equipped to come out and present on conservation topics such as rain gardens, rain barrels, watershed health, and stormwater issues, to name a few. Um, mostly I've done beast cleanup, rain gardens, um, curb markers. Recent studies have shown that 70% of the pollutants that are in our lakes, streams, and rivers come from runoff from impervious surfaces, such as rooftops and driveways and sidewalks. So rain gardens is one way that you can help prevent this type of pollution going into our lakes and streams. And so by building the rain garden, the pollutants will go from the water into the rain garden and it won't like have no bad effect really because it'll help the plants grow and look nice. Conservation education is one of Cuyahoga's Soil and Water Conservation District's major initiatives. Education is the foundation of everything we do. The district's ongoing comprehensive education program helps to raise awareness of issues that affect our natural systems and impacts the quality of life in our communities. Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District offers various educational opportunities and provides a wide range of opportunities for public involvement in activities that raise awareness and encourage behavior changes that help reduce pollution problems. Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District has worked to develop environmental educational resources for teachers that meet state science standards and important grade level benchmarks. The Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District is involved in annual education programs such as Envirothon, which is a competitive outdoor team event that offers a unique, enjoyable learning experience. We are also involved in sending students to Forestry Camp, which is a week-long camp held at Camp Muskingum in Carroll County, concentrating on forest ecology. We also participate in storm drain stenciling, most of the pollution in our waterways does not come from industries or factories, which is called point source pollution. Today, most pollution affecting our streams comes from non-point source pollution, such as storm drains. Storm drains along many neighborhood streets collect contaminated water and dump it directly into streams without being treated first. Storm drain stenciling is a simple way to alert your neighbors of the connection between your street and nearby waterways. Additionally, we have programs for citizens to literally jump into neighborhood streams to scrutinize the health of their local waterways. Stream monitoring is designed to give a snapshot of life and water quality in the stream and brings a community together to protect our waters. So a watershed is an area of land that all drains to, a same, to the same point, like a river or stream or lake. And Cuyahoga County has over 16 different smaller watersheds that all drain to Lake Erie as the Cuyahoga. The things that we do in our watershed program is to work with local community groups and local um, municipalities in devising watershed management plans for them in terms of um, protecting and restoring and managing our, our watersheds, our local watersheds. We've begun to move forward on um, working on actual restoration, including trying to get more uh, forested riparian buffers in the watershed, and that's one of our main initiatives right now. And as we move forward, we're going to be doing some more assessment on some of these smaller streams to identify projects, areas in need of habitat restoration. A conservation easement is a voluntary legal agreement between a landowner and a land trust private nonprofit organization or a government agency like the Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District that limits certain land uses while protecting others. Landowners retain the title and certain rights to the property. Easements are tailored to meet conservation needs and the financial and personal needs of the landowner. The Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District has accepted about 200 acres of conservation easements on sensitive streamside and wetland areas. Staff and volunteers have mapped the easements and monitored the easements to ensure that they are kept in their natural state. The Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District is involved in a number of special projects that help to enhance its mission, such as our involvement with the Dyke 14 Nature Preserve, wetlands mapping, and our inventory of aerial photographs, which are available to the public to view and copy. I also assist the public with our aerial photographs. 
We have a lot of engineers from the various um, companies that come into the district here, district office, and many of them are, are working on um, projects and they need historical aerial photographs. The Dyke 14 Nature Preserve exists on a former dredge disposal site. From 1979 to 1999, sediments dredged from the Cuyahoga River and Cleveland Harbor were deposited in Dyke 14. Now closed as a disposal site, the dike has become naturalized and sustains a remarkable diversity of plants and animals. You can see what happened. It just started growing up. It's become an, an, designated as an important bird area. The Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District Strategic Plan prioritizes identification of all significant natural areas in Cuyahoga County by December of 2007 by creating, in part, an inventory of remaining wetlands and potential mitigation sites. In an effort to fulfill this goal, the Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District received funding from the Great Lakes Commission to undertake a wetland inventory in Cuyahoga County. It may be urban, but Cuyahoga County has an abundance of natural resources and Lake Erie is at the top of the list. For nearly 60 years, Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District has been working to protect those natural resources through stewardship initiatives, education, application of best management practices, and watershed planning. We hope that our work will continue for the next 60 years and that we work to protect our land and water resources, which benefits all the citizens of Cuyahoga County. For more information on the Cuyahoga Soil and Water Conservation District, call our office at 216-524-6580 or visit our website at www.cuyahogaswcd.org.